I am not drunk. <laughs> Hello again and welcome from the deep into another episode of The Graveyard Shift with me, Book of Brett. Today we are going to be covering Insidious The Red Door. This is the fifth installment in the Insidious series and I believe we find ourselves with Patrick Wilson's directorial debut. You sure about that? And in this one we find Dalton has grown up, he is going off to college. The very beginning of the movie shows us that... Oh, spoiler alert if you haven't watched this. They have erased their memories of everything that has happened in the past few Insidious movies, which was a little bit of a red flag because it already kind of reeks of requel. And I have to say just right off the bat, Insidious 5 feels like the weakest one we've gotten from the Insidious franchise. It's weak. Now the whole memory wipe thing, as I said, was a little bit of a red flag to me but it does serve a purpose in the story of this movie. It's basically trying to get them to wipe everything clean, forget everything, and by forgetting everything, closing the so-called door to the further. There's something about this, it doesn't feel like an insidious movie, and I'm not really sure why that is, but it could be something in the directing, it could be something in the storytelling, Personally, I think this franchise is just done. I think it's tired. I think they're running out of ideas because this whole movie just feels like fan service. I am not entertained. And judging from Britney's reaction, I feel like I might be onto something there because I personally did not enjoy Insidious the Red Door. Britney did. She liked it. And like I said, if you're a fan of Insidious, I think you're gonna enjoy this movie. However, as somebody going into it, as someone who might, you know, they like the Insidious movies, but you're not a super huge Insidious fan, I don't know if you're gonna enjoy this because it really, really felt like the whole point of this movie was to make fans happy. It is chock full of references. It, it references its own stuff throughout the entire film. The scares are minimal. I gotta be honest, I was kind of bored. It felt very generic. I don't feel like it adds anything to the franchise. It's not really a new story. It's basically them wiping their memories. I mean, rediscovering some stuff along the way, sure, I'll give it that. But the whole thing just feels like a reboot, a rehash, a requel and i know it's not a requel i get that we're kind of following what they've been doing it almost feels like they didn't really know what to do and it almost feels like they were just trying to feed the fans need for an insidious movie we don't really find out much more about the further we don't find out much more about the lipstick demon we don't really find out much more about anything in this film and that's why i say it doesn't really do anything i know this is supposed to be or at least i hope to god this is the final insidious movie we're going to get because I, as i stated before i really feel like this one has kind of been worked to death i don't really know what else they can do with this without kind of taking the turn that The Conjuring did, which is starting to dive into other aspects, i.e. Annabelle, i.e. The Nun, stuff like that, without really starting to dive into what the further is, or to dive into who the lipstick demon is, go into his backstory. I don't really know what else you do with this universe and i feel like this movie is a testament to that at times it's about dalton at times it's about josh but it really really jumps back and forth and i almost kind of feel like this movie didn't know who they wanted to focus on i don't know where that comes from all i know is that there were times where i really felt like okay i need to be invested in dalton i also need to be invested in josh and i really feel like had we gone down josh's path a little bit more we'd have a much more interesting film here there are things in this movie that i just don't think work the way they wanted them to work and i don't want to get into spoilers because this is a new movie however i really really can't help but get into 
a little bit of spoiler. So I am going to say spoiler alert here because there's one thing that really, really sticks out to me. The whole reason why the whole astral projection thing comes back and why Dalton starts regaining this power to astral project is because the art teacher, there's a scene where the art teacher basically counts him down into hypnosis. Now, this works when you're already under the suggestion of hypnosis, and this is not me trying to interject reality into a supernatural movie. Even in the previous movies, we have seen that they are under hypnosis when they are under the suggestion of hypnosis. And I feel like this is really a poor excuse or a really poor reason to get him back now, if you are coming into this hoping to find out more about the further, more about the lipstick demon, more about astral projection, you're not really going to get that. No, what you are going to get is a movie that makes a ton of references to the earlier movies, which are far superior in my opinion. Honestly, I think after number three, we really should have stopped now, I know this is a bit of a shorter review. I don't want to give any spoilers away because this is a brand new movie. I know it's been out for a couple days. I'm coming in a little bit late on this, but it happens. I got a life. Now, I do encourage everybody to go see Insidious the Red Door. It's not a terrible movie. If you're in it for the references, great. But if you are in this for a scary movie, this movie is going to disappoint. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for me. But if you liked the episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of the movie down in the comments. I would love to know what fans and the general public alike thought of this movie. And if you really like what we're doing on this channel, go ahead and throw us a subscription. We just hit 300 subscribers, which is a really big deal for us. We're constantly trying to grow the channel. We're constantly trying to put out stuff that's going to be entertaining and that people are going to enjoy. And we'll hopefully inform people. And again, I mean, the main point is to entertain. But like I said, comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.